Hey guys, it's Jacqueline and welcome back to my channel. Woof, I'm sorry it has been so so long since I have filmed or posted anything, but it's kind of been crazy um, with before spring break. I had a show that I was in, so it was tech week and everything, and then it was break and I was out of town, and then just getting back in the swing of things, being back at school, but now I am back and hopefully I will be filming more often, I promise. I'm so sorry, I've been so bad. But I um, went on a little drugstore haul over break and I just wanted to show you some of the products that I got. So no like makeup tutorial today, but I am planning on hopefully doing a eyeliner cat eye um, tutorial coming up soon because I've got lots of requests for that. So hope you check that out. Okay, so let's dig in. I have a lot to show. Starting off with, okay, so I went on Pinterest and you know they have dupes for pretty much just about any makeup product out there that you can get cheaper. And this was a dupe for um, Smashbox's Photo Finish Primer, I believe it is. And this, is, yes, you read it right, it is a Chafing Relief Powder Gel. I know that sounds absolutely disgusting because you're putting it on your face. But I really wanted to try it out. Um, the pictures on Pinterest have different packaging. Whoops. And um, so that's what it looks like. And that's just what it is. And I've tried it once. And it really does have the same texture as like a, uh, a primer from Smashbox. You know how it kind of, I don't know, it almost turns like powdery towards the end. Um, so I've only tried it once. So I don't really have like a review on it yet. But I am excited to give that a whirl and see if it actually works. Next, I got a couple different um, concealers that I've heard some things about and I wanted to try. And this I actually um, found out through my friend Katie Vosco, who's also a YouTuber here. And I will link her down below so you can check out her channel. But um, she uses the Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer. And I got this in 15 Fair. And I have been using this the past few days. And it really does have like a similar texture and everything to the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. So if you are looking for like a really good dupe and a lot cheaper, um, I can't believe, I don't remember how much this was, but I can link it down below. And um, so far I really like it and it stays all day and it's the perfect color for highlights. So yeah, I'm excited to keep using that. The next concealer that I wanted to try out was the Ready Set Gorgeous from CoverGirl and it just looks like this and the packaging is really cute and I've tried concealers from them before and I th think I liked them, I'm not sure. So I want to try this out and I got it in 105, 110? I don't know, there's two numbers. Does that even make sense? I don't know, but I got it in fair. So I'm excited to see how this works and I'll let you guys know. Going along the lines with more skin products, I, not skin, I mean foundation, concealer, whatever, you get the gist. Um, I've always wanted to try this bad boy out. It is the L'Oreal Paris Magic Nude Liquid Powder. And if you have oilier skin, um, I've heard that this is super duper great. I've only, I, I'm wearing it today, and then I wore it Thursday with that, yeah. Thursday and um, it really does feel like you're just putting a powder on your face like it's not cakey at all which I hate wearing foundation because I hate the feeling on my skin I'm more of just like a powder foundation kind of girl and this is great because it's kind of the best of both worlds because it's a liquid that almost transforms into a powder it's pretty cool when you apply it so I like this and it's super smooth and silky on your skin and I'm excited to keep using it and let you guys know. Okay, next I got a powder from Rimmel London and it's their Stay Matte collection and I got this in number 004 Sandstorm. I know a lot of people have tried this in Translucent but I was just kind of interested to see if I could find sort of like a dupe for my MAC, um, what is it, MAC? I mineralized skin finish, that's what it is, um, my powder. And this is a really, really close dupe. The texture is just a little bit different. Um, I'd say it's like almost a little bit like creamier, 
I almost like this a little bit better. Like it gives you a really nice silky finish instead of sometimes the MAC one can kind of make you feel like it's a little bit thick on your skin. And so, so far I'm really liking this. So yeah, Rimmel London. Now moving to the eye products that I got. I got this Dordana Fabu liner. It's a liquid liner in just black. And I really wanted to try a new liquid liner with a felt tip because I tried the, um, I think it was Maybelline? The stiletto one. And it just dried out really quickly and it didn't really give you, um, like a really nice dark black line. And I tried the Wet n Wild one too and that did not have great color payoff at all. It was almost like charcoal. And so far I'm really loving this. And this was I think like $1.99 at Walgreens. And um, it's just right where you check out at the cosmetics table. And I'm really, really liking this. So I will continue to use this. And voila! And then next I got um, a blush from Wet n Wild. And this is in Heather Silk. If you can see this color. It looks really, really pretty and just kind of like a deep purpley and um, I don't really like to wear super like um, hot pinkies but like this just looks really really pretty sorry I really can't speak right now um, and I'm excited to try that out because Wet n Wild has some great products with really great color payoffs and then next for eyes I have a couple more Wet n Wild products um, I got these two liners in what are they even called I'm not sure 609A and 606A. Anyways, one is in blue and one is in like this gold pretty bronze color that I think would be really, really gorgeous under the lash line and just buffing that out and just trying to add some more color. I think it would be really fun. So yeah. Sorry my camera died so I just had to plug it in so if the lighting adjusts and it's kind of weird, that's why. Um, but next for eye products, I wanted to try out a couple new mascaras just because I've been using the same one for a long time. And these are ones that um, I've either tried in the past like way, way long ago when I first was trying makeup or that I've heard a lot about. So um, first is this L'Oreal Paris Voluminous in Carbon Black. And I'm sure you guys have seen this from other YouTubers. Sorry, it has some mascara on it. Um, but I have used this, I think like forever ago like it was maybe one of the first mascaras I used and it has like a really straight um, applicator it coats pretty nicely excuse me sorry that was gross and um, the only downfall I would have to say to it is that it doesn't really have like a curve in the brush so your lashes do get really lengthy and almost kind of like spidery they're really pretty but um, they kind of just get like stick straight and they don't give it a nice like curve if you kind of are catching my drift um, versus this um, another Maybelline product Great Lash but the big um, just because I really like big brushes versus the small ones and that is this one. Can you even see that? Um, so I really like the applicator on this one and the formula. Um, the only thing with this is that sometimes it's almost a little bit too wet. And you get um, those black lash line marks up here by your eyebrows. I don't know if anyone else deals with those. I do have long eyelashes so... Maybe that's just a long eyelash thing, but it's super duper annoying and it drives me crazy to see like black marks up there, especially when no one tells you and you look in the mirror and you're like, oh my god, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> but I'm you, I hate those and these kind of give you those, but um, that's okay because the mascara is worth it, so I guess I have to deal. Moving on to eyeshadow, I found a few of these um, eyeshadow quads. One is from Maybelline and it's this beautiful, what's the name of it? Oh, 70 Copper. I can try to show you here. Sorry, I don't want to blind you. Um, but it's really, really gorgeous and it just has these shimmery, coppery brown colors. I'm super excited to try that. And then um, I didn't know CoverGirl had them. But evidently they do. Oh, I haven't even opened it yet. Um, and this is in 705. Does it have a name? 
705 go for the golds and this just looks really really pretty as well I'm sorry if there's so much glare that you can't really see it but I'm excited to try those because I don't have too many like shimmery brown colors and because I have blue eyes I really want to try it and yeah next I wanted to get a couple drugstore um, makeup brushes um First, it's from the line of Real Techniques, which I have just heard so, so much about, and I've always wanted to try their brushes, but every time I look at them, I'm like, oh, maybe next time. I mean, because they are still sort of pricey for a drugstore. They're like 16 to 18 to 20 but I did decide to get a couple that I've always wanted to try. And first is their powder brush. And this is just really nice and fluffy. And um, I have been applying my powder with this all over my face. And it just buffs it out really, really nicely. And I think it, I like it better than the e.l.f. powder brush. That is $2, which is so much cheaper. But this gives you really great coverage. And I really like the way it feels on your skin. It's really soft. And then I also got the Real Techniques, what is it called, the Stippling Brush. So it just looks like this, and it's just like kind of airy bristles on top. And I kind of got this for multiple uses, maybe like applying um, some foundation just to kind of give like a more airbrushed look. And then also I've used this for um, contour. So, yeah, that's really all I gotta say about that. And then, next, I got a couple eyeshadow brushes from Eco Tools. I'm sure you have seen them in the drugstore. And these are just a couple of the... Let me turn it this way. Is that better? Yeah. And they're just the dual-ended eyeshadow um, brushes, which kind of seem hard to store. Because I like to store my eyeshadows in, like, buckets like these from Target in the dollar section. And you can't really do that with these. So that's kind of slightly frustrating, but I'm excited to try these out because they look really nice. Yeah. Next, this product seems super duper duper random. Ew, what is that random hair? Okay. Um, but these are eyebrow shapers that I didn't really get them to shape my eyebrows. I guess I could try it for that reason. But um, I got it for just like facial hair in general. You know, girls, you got. You got some hair above your lip, and it, it's just not cute. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's dark or light, whatever. I just don't like the way, like, when a sun shines, when the sun shines on you and you're outside. And I, mm. and it's also harder to apply lipstick on your cupid's bow if it gets, like, on some of the hair. And then it's, mm, it's just a mess. Anyways, I have tried um, these. Look at it up close. They're just, like, they almost just look like a little razor. And it, mm, it pinches maybe like a little bit, but it works so super duper well. And I was really impressed by it, so I'm going to keep using these and let you know what I think. So yeah, yay for fun finds. And then lastly, I just have a few hair um, little accessories sort of things. I don't know what you call them. Um, I got this, um, Goody, what is it? I have the box right here. I took it out of the box. Whoops. Um, the Goody Tangle Fix. And everyone has been talking about, um, the wet brush, um, that you, like, brush your hair and it gets all the tangles out. Even when it's wet, you can brush it. Um, and I've always kind of been skeptical of that just because I know you're supposed to comb your hair when it's wet because brushing it can give you some damage. So I did want to try this and um, so far I am really impressed. It really does truly like get all those tangles instantly like tangle free right away. I'm just going to get my hair a little brush. But yeah so really great and I have used it on wet hair. And like I said, I really, really like it, and I was kind of surprised. So, yeah. And then the last two products that I got are kind of boring. I um, just needed some dry shampoo and some hairspray. I just got the Tresemme um, Volumizing Dry Shampoo. Target did not have Batiste at the time, so I had to get this guy. Which, I mean, it works fine. I just kind of like um, having the darker ones, so it blends in with my roots instead of having my hair look whiter and powdery. Hmm. Anywho. Then I also got a Tresemme Extra Firm Control Hairspray in this big can. And these are just so super cheap. And they work really well. And um, 
I usually use Big Sexy Hair, but because I don't have any more performances left or anything, I don't really need a heavy duty uh, hairspray that's gonna make my hair last for a long time. I'm honestly just wear my hair down like on the weekends, and even then, it's not, not like a huge deal. I just pretty much curl it maybe like a couple times a month. So, yeah. So guys, I think that is all I have for you. Um, but I'm really excited to try all of these products. I've tried a few and so far I've really, really been loving them. And I will let you guys know what I think. And um, let me know if you've tried any of these products before and what you think. And tell me in the comments down below and I would really appreciate it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And please, please, please subscribe. I would love to hear from you and for you to watch all my future videos. And then please comment down below just kind of your thoughts thoughts and like this video and give it a thumbs up if you liked it oh yeah all right so that is all I have for you today thank you so so much for watching I really appreciate it and I will hopefully see you guys soon bye